Hey ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna peg light for truth here. Gerald's the name. Just thought I'd come on and do an introduction to my channel. I haven't put anything out on my channel video wise. And, you know, there's a lot going on in the world. It's time to make an appearance. Put some skin in the game, if you will. Uh let's see, as an introduction of myself, where do I start? <clears throat> Okay, uh, let's start by, I am a full believer in Jesus Christ, um, that he was born into the earth, uh, came and, born of a virgin birth, and he came and died on the cross, and died for our sins, and was risen in three days. Not only do I believe that, I've, uh, <laughs> let's just say, I've been led by the Holy Spirit since I was five years old. I've been through some interesting things that I'd love to share with you. Uh, I had sort of a shaded past, if you will. Kind of grew up on the streets, was involved in gangs. Not so much in the way that you think, but you know, there's some interesting stories to be told. I can say that. Um... I'm basically here to do a video journal of, of my life for, you know, in the time or, you know, God forbid of my uh, uh, early death, so to speak. Uh, I think I'm still young. I wouldn't say I'm in the prime of my youth, if uh, you know what I mean. But uh, I'm still here, I'm alive, I'm kicking. You know, uh, I think I'm a lot different person than I used to be, I'll tell you that through visions and dreams and basically through the experiences that Jesus has put me through and the things that I've learned and been led to learn uh, I'm, I'm different I would say it. people that knew me and know me now would say that too the dross has been burned out of my heart now don't get me wrong I'm far from perfect and there's probably still a long way to go I, I pray for his forgiveness for the things that I did and, and, and uh, well I pray that uh, he has grace for the things that I might mess up in the future because, well, that's how I learn. You know, I pray that, uh, you know, when something bad happens to any of you that are out there or um, something that seems kind of out of the ordinary, I pray that you look at it and, and meditate on it and uh, go to the Word and meditate on the Word and the answer will come to you. There's there's a lesson in everything. Everything. It, it, Every experience is, is given to you as a lesson. It's, it's not meant to be a, a, a depressive point in your life. It's meant to be a, a glorious moment from, from the knowledge that you gain from it and the wisdom to apply that knowledge through who the Lord is and what He teaches us. So um, I'm here to put out a few videos on... on um, the things that I've been led to build and uh, basically mess around with. I've been studying Nikola Tesla for about 20 years off and on now. Uh, did lots of his experiments. Some of the stuff is crazy that I've seen. When it comes to Nikola Tesla's work, wow. Um, I mean, I'm not to say I'm no anything different than anybody else has done, and nothing out of the ordinary so to speak, but uh, I, I did find the principle that he found when it comes to, um, pardon the expression, because this, this term has been bastardized a few times, free energy. So what's free energy? Well, it's basically a system that runs itself and gives you a little bit extra output. Now, Nikola Tesla had mass amounts of extra output. I, I'm not quite there yet. But I do understand the principle, and I'd like to teach it to you if it's possible. If it be in the Lord's will, uh, it'll flow free and come out to everyone. Because what's freely given should should be in turn given freely. I fully believe that. But there's also a time for everything. As, as it is written, there is this, a time for every season. So, um, I'm a big believer in this right here. Mark 10.27 I guess you guys can't really see that it's backwards or 
For with God, all things are possible. Big believer in that. I mean, absolutely anything. If you can think of it, it's possible. How do I know that? I'll tell you some of the experiences I've been through. And I pray that my testimony touches the hearts of those that it's meant to touch and help those that it's meant to help. As it is written, for those with ears to hear and eyes to see, may you see and hear. Now, this is me. Um, I don't know what much else to say as an introduction. There's more to come. Uh, current events, uh, things I've built, things I'm building, how I built them, um, the principles behind that, like um, the solar system that I kind of fell upon, if you pardon the expression. Uh, when I, I, pardon me, let me back up a little bit. In my past, I worked for individuals that, uh, let's just say, were a little shady. And um, I learned some really good information back then, like how to build a grow room. Now, let's just say we weren't growing tomatoes back when I was younger, but uh, at this point, uh, it's pretty much legal in Canada to grow, except for two provinces, I believe, or three, I'm not sure. I haven't looked into that. I'm not into it anyway. I am, however, into building grow rooms for food, because that knowledge that I gained back then from my past is very applicable today, pardon my language. Um, I also found that if you use a certain spectrum of lights, you can line your walls with solar power and get your power back. It's an interesting concept. Uh, it's something I'd like to show people because, as they say, proofs in the pudding. And uh, I believe I got a big bowl of it, but uh, you know, it's up to you to decide. I'll put out what I have, and then uh, you take it from there. Prove me wrong or prove me right, one way or the other, I'm learning just as much as you. And to me, that is a blessing. So, I pray uh, in the name of Jesus Christ that this uh, touches those that it's meant to in your hearts. And, uh, well, I am what I am. So, stay true. Stay you.